What's up everybody, it's 2 Yellow GX. So today I got a little bit different video where I'm actually gonna be doing a quick walk around on my NSX. I'm gonna introduce you guys to the car and kind of tell you the backstory of how I got it. Now, I'm actually also testing out a Pocket 2 DJI gimbal, which is what I'm filming on right now using the internal mic there. Uh, I was just gifted this camera by G Technique, which is an auto detailing uh, supply company that makes ceramic coatings uh, out of Atlanta, originally out of the UK and uh, they gifted me this awesome camera so thank you so much g technique uh, we assisted them just this past weekend at the crown rally which is a rally up north here in minnesota but with further ado um, let's walk around this vehicle and i'll show you guys um, what she looks like all right so let's walk around the vehicle this is a 90, 1993 acura nsx honda nsx if you got it in japan or if you got it in europe but anyway, in the U.S. is the Acura NSX. This is a, a 1993 uh, color red. 93 uh, still had the hard top, so that's what we got here. We've got the ivory interior, which I'll show you. So this is actually one of 13 for 1993 that came in this combo of being the red with the ivory interior. This car has 83,000 miles currently. Let you guys look at the interior. She's pretty clean. So I'm really lucky. The individual who owned it before me actually uh, did a very good job taking care of it. I'm the fourth owner. And the car is originally from Minnesota, originally. And that sold, moved around the United States, made its way all the way back to Minnesota, which is actually where I found it and bought it. Um, the way I got the vehicle, actually, funny story, um, it's not me that found it. It is my best friend that works at a dealership um, had heard that a guy was trying to sell this vehicle to his dealership. He hit me up, let me know that, hey, there's an NSX for sale here. You should look into it. Uh, I was not in the market to buy a car at the time. I had actually just got rid of a Sibri WRX hatchback. But um, he told me the vehicle was here. He was trying to trade it in and that I should hit up this uh, individual owner so that's what i did hit up the guy um you know made sure that he was uh asking what he was asking which if you guys are wondering i bought this thing two and a half years ago and uh at the time the owner wanted forty thousand dollars now if you know anything about the pricing even two years ago, $40,000 would still have been a steal on this vehicle, considering it's only at 80,000 miles. When I bought it, it was at 79,000. Um, once I knew that was the price, I automatically jumped on it, and I have been the owner of this vehicle ever since. Uh, super grateful. I was not on the market at all whatsoever to get a new vehicle. So when this popped up, I was uh, very, very happy, and I was very happy to make this happen and uh now i own an nsx which i've been enjoying for the last two years so what's done in this car not much to be honest it's pretty much stock but we do have um a set of Vogue ce 28 sls uh, 18s in the rear 17s in the front we just put these on this year before that i had oz ultra legras which i was not a huge fan of and so these are much more um, visually appealing in my opinion also much a lighter wheel as well which is nice it's got DC headers and a Magnaflow uh, exhaust which I'll let you guys hear here in a second
So let's open up the engine hood, AKA the back lid windshield thingy. The latch is right there. So here's the engine, all original. Uh, besides the <clears throat> headers coming down and the exhaust, everything is completely stock. This has been added by the old owner. Just a little strut bar. But as you can see, this vehicle for being um, from 1993, it is very, very clean. Just the way I like it. Now my intention with this vehicle is not to do much at all. I am actually gonna keep it pretty much the way it is because I do enjoy this vehicle for being what it is. And uh, I think it's cool to just see something from that era. Let's open up now the uh, hood hood, just to show you guys what's up there. And the latch is right there. Here is my hood. The original spare tire is still right here. Now I could probably take it out considering it wouldn't do much help for me anyway if I did get a flat But I kind of enjoy the nostalgia of having this here as you can see everything in here is very clean still uh, The paint from the inside of this is clean. The plastic is clean um, I could dust things off a little bit, but I mean it's really not that bad um, Which we'll get to cleaning uh, probably before the winter so let's also take a look at, what am I missing here? Oh yeah, the nice thing about this vehicle is, although I never take it out shopping, you do have the choice too, if you would like to. So the trunk is right here. And here's your trunk space. Which actually have a pretty decent ample, which actually have a pretty decent amount of room. We get the uh, company t-shirts here for giveaway whenever we meet people who know about our shop. So pretty decent space. I mean, it's fairly deep. Uh, I do have the original mats, which were all ivory as well. They're all down here. Uh, I will probably never use them, to be honest. I need to keep these as clean. As you can see, the stitching is still very clean. So I do have to slam that a little bit. I mean, it, it is a little bit older of a vehicle. Some things do need a little bit of a bit of a uh, push in there. That's locked. We'll go close up this hood. Give you a little bit more uh, of a view from inside the vehicle. So this vehicle is uh, mine is lowered on a short on a shorter spring. Um, so as you can see, that's where we are there at the wheel gap and off the floor. Uh, we don't have too much room, but let's hop in there. So hopping in this vehicle is uh, I'm five seven. It's not too bad, but I've seen my friends that are six three try to get in here. So. What do I like about this vehicle? Well, first of all, um, the cabin is extremely friendly for the driver. As you guys know, the car was um, did have a lot of input in the engineering and design of the vehicle by the Arts and Senna F1 uh, driver. And so they wanted to make this cockpit similar to like an F16 cockpit. And as you can see, um, the view is is very wide which I love it actually makes it really easy to drive and it really plants you down towards the road um, this the seating angle is awesome the seats are nice and the holster is nice on the bucket seats it's not too aggressive but it's comfortable and just as it was intended to be you could sit in this car chill and d definitely drive it really far which it, a lot of people do uh, original gauges just like what you had in the 90s typical Honda which I love, uh, nothing like a just 
normal tachometer, no digital, nothing to worry about. All I care about is that it works. Here's our mileage. We're currently at 82,765 and some change. Original stereo. Still have a cigarette lighter that's right there. I usually just charge to uh, charge my phone. Now I could upgrade this, but I am really keen to not want to do anything with the vehicle other than what's already um, basically the way it comes. That's the way I want to enjoy it. Um, as you can see here, this is my sitting angle. It's very comfortable. I'm 5'7". Like I said, if you're taller, you definitely have an issue. I've heard of, I have not tracked my car yet, but I've heard people definitely have a little bit of issue with a helmet on as well. Um, and the best part, since we already saw you showed you earlier, like the engine is right here, and so you actually get a, uh, a good amount of noise coming out the back, and it's just a nice different feeling from if you've only driven uh, vehicles with the motor in front. It's a nice change to have that sound coming out the back, and it really makes you appreciate the vehicle when the VTEC opens up uh, with the exhaust. It's really um, enjoyable. So, if you got any questions about my car, let me know. Um, would love to answer it. It's a dream car for me. Never thought I'd own one. I own one. Uh, I've been blessed to have one. Um, so I'll show you guys a few more clips from the outside here as the sun is just setting behind me. And uh, I know it's not a video about the GX470, but I figure as a car enthusiast, you might enjoy this car as well, just like I do, because it is uh, a pretty neat, cool car to have an NSX. So that's all I got. Enjoy the final shots. Peace out. Thanks, guys, for watching.